everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Today is the 26th of uh, September uh, 2022. And so, guys, um, over the few days, uh, we've heard uh, so much about Nyad's mass sanctions uh, from African leaders, including uh, SA President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. Yes, the man was in the US uh, a few days ago. And he also talked about Nyad's mass sanctions, saying that uh, those sanctions against Zimbabwe uh, should be removed. And so uh, the US uh, will not remove uh, sanctions placed on Zimbabwe entities and people, despite the issue being raised by President Cyril Ramaphosa during his visit with US President Joe Biden. US Ambassador to South Africa, Ruben E. Brigitte, said the US do not believe claims its sanctions have caused Zimbabwe's decline economy. He told News 24 the sanctions were targeted at specific people and entities, and it was disinformation driving the blame on the U.S. for the suffering experienced by the country. That is not our view as the U.S. government, not to say that the economic situation is not a problem. In our view, the sanctions are very targeted. This is a crucial point on distinction on what we believe is misinformation, Bridget said. The U.S. placed sanctions on specific people and entities in Zimbabwe in 2001, citing the political situation in the country. The country has suffered from high inflation and dwindling economy for several years. Living costs have been substantially, with many Zimbabweans seeking refugee and a better life in surrounding countries. The ANC and the government approached it for years preached the need for sanctions to be lifted. Ramaphosa undertook a state visit to the U.S. last week and held discussions with Biden for more than an hour. He was even given a special tour of the West Wing of the White House by Biden, a first according to White House staffers and Brigitte. When the discussions ensured many topics were on the table, and one of these was sanctions. When Ramaphosa Cited that he believed was the economic impact of the sanctions on the economy and the spillover migration impact on South Africa, he told the media during his visit. Bridget said while well, Biden sympathized with South Africa's migration problem, comparing it with the US struggles at its southern border, he said Biden disagreed on the accusation that solution to the issues in Zimbabwe. We made it clear from our perspective that the issue is the behavior of the government of Zimbabwe. The U.S. is not seeking a regime change, but we are concerned about the increasingly repressive environment inside Zimbabwe. We would be open to a change in the sanctions regime if there were a change in the repressive political environment inside Zimbabwe. And that is not news. That is U.S. law. And it, it is clear. Bridget told News 24 during an interview in Pretoria on Friday. He said the sanctions targeted people and that these restrictions could be removed only once an apparent political change took place in Zimbabwe. Added Bridget, U.S. had not placed any restrictions on the country and economic mismanagement by the government had caused the economic impact being felt by citizens. The U.S. is not targeting or sanctioning the economy of Zimbabwe. The sanctions are very narrowly targeted at individuals that are implicated in a political environment and human rights abuses inside Zimbabwe, individuals and entities. The economic problem in Zimbabwe is largely due uh, to the economic mismanagement by the government, which is tandem with the political Zimbabwe and the due push effect of millions of people outside of Zimbabwe. This all could be changed tomorrow with a change in behavior by the sanctioned individuals and by the government's management of the economic space. It is not the result of sanctions, he added. South Africa has been grappling with a rise in xenophobia in recent months with foreign nationals, including Zimbabweans, failing victims to violent attacks. There has been a growing push from some political parties for the government to do more to secure the country's borders. And so guys, that's the latest here. It was a nice try uh, from uh, Cyril Ramaphosa and other African leaders who were calling for sanctions uh, to be removed against Zimbabwe, but it seems like uh, U.S. is still saying that uh, those sanctions are not affecting the majority of Zimbabweans. Those are targeted sanctions at few people and few entities at per, at per sanction list, not Zimbabweans. And like, the economy uh, is look found by is not because of the sanctions. No, it's because of the people who are misusing the funds, which is true. 
definitely true i think uh we talked about it here so many times that nyaya corruption nyaya corruption do nyaya ora zimbabwe and nyaya corruption people are ku tora mare nyika vachitenga mota vachinisa kune dzimwe nyika vachitasi vachitasi do nyaya iri kukonzeresa kuti economy yedu iri tadze kumira itadze kufamba mberi tikudzokora mashure and people jwa iwo vega chat and the rest are suffering they are saying that the sanctions can be removed even tomorrow if those people change their behavior of doing things kana vaka kwanisa kuti mekedza kodzorodzwa vanhu and yes human rights here eto kati tsara nezvayo pano zvakare yes to visa ma sanction this is um, what the us ambassador to south africa uh, ruben um, Brigitte has said regarding to uh, Ramaphosa's visit, the man was calling for sanctions to be removed because he was saying that um, you know more Zimbabweans are coming to South Africa. Yes, they are giving a headache in South Africa because of Nyadzima sanctions. Sanctions are driving people from uh, Zimbabwe to South Africa to seek for greener pastures, of which is also some South Africans are uh, one in terms of Nyadze health, in terms of Nyadze because our resources are limited you know to go to but but one out to our show is zero number and so the man was saying you know what you guys need to remove those sanctions against zimbabwe so that zimbabweans can go back to zimbabwe and live happily ever after the injury is so some south africans but at the end of the day uh the zim crisis have also benefited south africa in many ways in terms of labor in terms of uh you know ma shops but you know in terms of economy how i mean maro zutumi raza gawanda uh from um zimbabwe zuko of south africa saka you know they, they, they've benefited although they will say kutanzi nyayama immigrants whatsoever but once an immigrant arrives in sa ashara tenga chingwa ashara tenga hufu ashara tumira mari saka who's benefiting from those uh, transactions is the sa government so yeah I mean, yeah, to say what you to say, but we all know that uh, SA has been benefiting from Zimbabwe suffering. Not just SA only, but Botswana also, Mozambique, Zambia, they've been benefiting from Zimbabwe suffering. And yeah, so this is um, daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Millen Entertainment TV. We're gonna be back here with more information. And remember to like, share, comment, and follow. Bless up.